Hey everyone, Spencer Jones here for Jones and a Get Fit, bringing you our live cooking show. And today I have an amazing recipe for you. It is simple, but yet so freaking delicious. You, I mean, your mind's just gonna explode with how delicious this recipe is. I, I can't wait. Plus, I've been getting requests for vegetarian meals, vegan meals, and soups because it's winter time, and winter is the perfect time for soup. Well, this recipe meets all that criteria and more because you're gonna get your veggies in and your daily serving of this, and oh my goodness, or your daily serving of vegetables with this meal. It's gonna be incredible. I can't wait. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So good, so simple. Now, there's a little caveat to this. While this recipe is going to be quick as far as on the video portion of it goes because we're just gonna throw it together. It did take time to prep this one. So I spent, mm, honestly, probably an hour-ish prepping all this stuff for it. Now, the cool part is when you're making it, you can prep it all beforehand a little bit, take the time, have fun with your family, prep it. But I am making so much of this, it's ridiculous. You see this pot back here? This pot is going to be filled to the top. See my head? I, I can fit my head in this pot. I could, see? And it'd be like crazy. Well, this thing's gonna be filled with soup. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So good. So I'm gonna walk you through what I did. Here's what I did. I went to the grocery store. I went in the produce area, you know, where I have all this stuff. And I bought pretty much everything I could that's green that I thought would be tasty in soup. You can do the same thing. Now, I'll, um, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Everything that is making this soup, I spent, or like everything going in it, I spent $22 on, 23, something like that. And this soup is going to last multiple, multiple portions, not only for Katie and myself, well, for Katie and myself, it last multiple portions. If you have a family of four, five, whatever, you're still gonna get multiple portions off this one meal. And you could stretch it out if you like. Let me show you what I did to, uh, or what I purchased to make this meal. Now, you can add stuff. What I love about the soup is you can make it totally customizable. You can add things to it, you can take things out. What does your family like, what don't they like? You can make it whatever works for you. Here's what works for me. Okay, so we have a stove. That's usually a good thing to have with a big pot. Oh, big pot, oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was fun. We're gonna need some pepper. Got some salt, not that you can eat much of it, but a little bit of salt. A little oil, we got grapeseed oil. All right, now, I'm all about simplicity, folks. We went simple with this. We have what's left of one whole thing of celery stalks, right? So you get those celery stalks and the plastic bags, all that. Um, this is what, that's left of it. I'll show you what I use the other three stalks for. That is one whole, or not whole, it was one yellow onion. It was whole, until I chopped it up. It was crazy. And then we have one zucchini in the back. Cut um, more chunk style, right? So we got some chunked zucchini. Um, we have two green peppers. Mm -mm -mm. We have Brussels sprouts. How many Brussels sprouts? I have no clue. I just threw them in a like, handful at a time going, you know, this looks good, why not? Oh, let's add some more. Mm. That's enough. So what I did is I cut the bottoms off. Little dirty bottoms. See, I cut the dirty bottoms off there, and then I chopped them in half. That's all I did. That's all. I have like five uh, carrots, medium-sized carrots, all chopped up. We have broccoli, cauliflower. I know, serious veggies, Jennifer. We're going crazy. So we have cauliflower on the bottom and uh, broccoli on top. That is about one and a half... Um, crowns of broccoli, about a eh, half-ish of um, cauliflower. That's it. We got like four cloves of garlic down here. Can you smell it? Mmm, garlic. Oh, you love Brussels sprouts, Robert? That's awesome. The wife and kids look at me weird. You know what? It's okay. You can leave them out of the soup or put it in the soup and don't tell them. Or you could tell them and just tell them to pick it out. Um, we have green beans. I bought a big bag of green beans. That's about like two or three, I think it was three big handfuls, all just chopped up. We have parsley. The parsley came in a bunch. That's one bunch of uh, a parsley. Am I measuring it out? It looks like two cups because that's a two cup size dish, but it's just a bunch of parsley chopped up. That's all. And you see that kale? Look at all that kale. 
Ew, it's kale. Ew, gross. No, it's seriously delicious in this soup. If you put it in like salad, yeah, it's okay. But this is gonna be so much better. You're gonna love, love this kale. How much is it? A freaking lot of kale, that's how much. So if you're curious, oh Spencer, how much kale do I need? A freaking lot of it, that's what you need. So um, really, it's like one bunch of cooking kale, they called it at the store for some stupid reason. So I got one bunch of it. I don't want it sitting around because I didn't, so I, I chopped it all up for the soup. Because I can. What else we got? Okay, so I also did this. This is part of prepping. Let me get this in the light. Scoot it in the light. There's my microwave. Hi, microwave. Look at that. Homemade vegetable stock. So we got our vegetables in here. Okay, so the camera's gonna get a little shaky because I'm holding it with one hand. Oh, got it with my right arm now. All right, now you can see. So what I did is I, you can see in there, chopped up a bunch of veggies. We have three carrots in there. We have three stalks of celery. We have one onion, skin off. You could keep the skin on if you want, but I have one skin off. And one leek. Um, chopped up, just really big chopped up. Like you can see how big the celery and uh, uh, carrots are. That's how big they are in there. And then I covered it all with water. Look at that. And then I uh, turned it on so it was boiling. And then I let it sit at a high simmer. So I turned the heat down after it started boiling and let it stay simmering there for um, about an hour, just shy of an hour. That's all it is. That's all, and I added, um, what I add? Pepper, I added pepper to it. Just a couple good shakes of pepper, probably like 10 shakes of pepper from the pepper can you saw earlier. That's stock. So if you wanna make a healthy, delicious vegan, of course, you know, because it's all oh, just vegetables and water, stock. This way you're set, easy to do, it takes time. Doesn't take time chopping up the vegetables, that took me like pff, two minutes, not even. Covering it with water, turning on the soap, and then you just have to let it sit, right? Cover it, put the cover on, let it sit for, mm, how long? Oh, I said an hour. Yeah, let it sit for an hour, and there you go. There is your vegetable stock. You can use that for so many recipes. You check out the other soups I've made. If you um, check out the other some of the other recipes we have on our YouTube channel or on the Jones and Get Fit blog, um, you can see what we use stock in. You can sub this vegetable stock in for any of them. It, it'd work really, really well. So that's one quick, fun, easy way to make a stock that's going to be super healthy for you. No salt add it. So you uh, make sure you remember that because you might want to add a little salt just for flavor. I don't like having salt in it beforehand. I'll season it um, to my taste at the time, but I really try not to add too much because you get so much more flavor out of it, I feel, and the salt just, uh, I don't know, it enhances it up to a point. Then it gets crazy. Okay, so that is this story here. Um, if you want to check out our YouTube channel or um, our blog, go to, um, you could search Jones and Get Fit. Um, do jonesandgetfit.com. It's going to take you to the website, and then you can click um, to find our blog there. Other, it's under jonesandgetfit.blogger, uh, or sorry, blogspot.com. Uh, you can check out our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and check out. Um, just go to YouTube blah, 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 and go Jones and Get Fit, Spencer Jones. Blah, blah, blah. Search for me. You'll find it, and you'll see all the awesome recipes we have. All right, well, let's get making this soup. It's going to be incredible, folks. First. I have my big pot. This is where I made the chicken stock, or sorry, the vegetable stock. I just transferred it over here, so I can use both things and show you and make it easy. All right, we're turning on the stove here to high heat. This one's like a high burner here. So a high heat, we're gonna put in a little oil. Uh, when I say a little bit of oil, for this amount of soup, I'm probably putting in probably like two to three tablespoons. I think that's like two and a half three tablespoons of oil, right? I'm not gonna need a ton, but I'm gonna want some in there. We're gonna let that heat up real quickly. And then we're gonna add in our um, garlic and our onions to this mix and our carrots. I like adding in carrots right away because carrots, we want them, although they'll be boiled in the soup and get the flavor of it, um, I like them just because they get even more flavor and they get a little softer as we go along. Uh, Maria, geez, so many vegetables. How are they all gonna fit in that pot? You know, I'll be honest, I was kind of worried about the same thing. I don't know how. I don't know. It, we're going to see if it works, Maria. Um, we'll make it work, right? I mean, we do what we do. We got another pot here if we need. So, um, and the best part is if you run out of stock, if you don't have enough, 
um, it's okay, right? You can add more water. And the vegetables that you're adding in is going to add extra flavor to it as well. So if you ever need more, just add more water. That is a-okay. All right, let's put around the oil in there. Let's move it around really nicely. We're gonna add our ingredients. So first, four cloves of garlic, all chopped up. Mmm, smells amazing already. I'm gonna put that aside. We're gonna add our one onion in. Boom. Get the rest of it out. I have these dishes. These are like my Pyrex dishes that I use for taking my lunches to school. But on Monday nights, they double as prep dishes for you guys, for the show. It's incredible. All right, so we add our onions, garlic, and now our carrots in. So we're gonna let that cook for a little bit. And as this is cooking, um, I'm curious, what is your favorite meal time to, or meal to have during Christmas time? Uh, I'm curious, let me know. Put it, put it in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube later, add it to the comments too. Let me know uh, what your favorite Christmas meal is. Um, I'd love to see it. We can make it uh, and all that good stuff later on. Next week we have a fabulous meal plan. Well, we're just gonna let that keep going. Just a quick heads up for my loyal viewers, which is which is our all of you. Um, so thank you for watching, first of all. Um, in two weeks, Christmas Day, we're not gonna have a show. I'm spending time with family. I will not have a show. Sorry. But uh, New Year's Day we will. We will have a show that. So just so you know, just so you're planning ahead, getting life ready. So we have all these other things to add. Now anytime you're adding things to a soup or a stir fry, here's a cooking tip for y'all. Anytime you're adding stuff to a soup stir fry, you always start with the harder vegetables first or harder things first, with the exception of onions. Onions are soft, so you think, oh, I'll add them in later. Now you add them in first, you want them to become translucent. Um, so you want to add those those things in first so they cook and they cook down a little bit. Um, the onions get that onion juice out, the garlic really adds a flavor. So we start heating up, extracting the flavor, and then it's going to soak into everything else that much more. And we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit here. I know I'm a lot of show, but we're talking about stock already. We talked about how to make vegetable stock, all the ingredients you need, all this flies together real quickly. So just so you know, that's what happens. Let's see, uh, Jennifer, white chicken chili or baked ha ham with pineapple. Oh, I love baked ham with pineapple. So good, mm, so delicious, I love it. And um, oh, we should make a healthy way to make that. That'd be fun, let's, let's add that to the cooking show. White chicken chili, let's make that as well. Those are going onto my list, Jennifer, for a live cooking show. We'll make those healthy and delicious and amazing for, um, we'll probably throw those in January sometime because we already got next week's show planned. So for January, I'll add that, whoop, add that to my list. All right, so we'll let these cook just for a little bit longer, and then we're gonna add our other ingredients. Now, this recipe, as I said, as you're seeing it today, is totally vegan, right? We're just using vegetables. It could be from your garden if, you, if you're making that awesome and incredible. Um, but as I said about these at the store, because you know, I don't have a garden if you watch the show and I don't like gardening and it's just, and it's, December, so from the store. So that all works. Make sure you clean your vegetables well. Uh, get all the dirt off, scrub the dirt off, anything like that, and um, anything that has like little wax on it, right? Just wash it off um, real quick and, and then you're good to go. So this is almost set. I'm just gonna talk about one more quick thing. The vegetables you see here in the stock, I don't know if I can tilt it enough for you to see again, but the vegetables you see in there, oh my God, I spilled. Oh. Dogs will lick it up in a little bit. I'll get it when the show's off. Um, so, it's only a little bit. So, the vegetables you see in there, am I gonna throw those out afterwards? Heck no! I'm not gonna throw all the delicious vegetables out. They're what made the stock. It made it so freaking delicious. What I'm gonna do is, I probably won't do it on the show because you don't need to see it, but unless you want to. Um, I'm gonna take those out after I put the stock in here. I'm gonna take them out and chop them up and then add them into our soup. They're already soft because they've been boiling for an hour, but they have so much flavor in them and, and help make that stock that I'm gonna add them to our soup as well. So there's even more vegetables going in. Crazy. Okay, this has been um, cooking here on high heat for about three, four minutes, something like that. 
Uh, I'm so curious on what your favorite meals are around Christmas time. We got Jennifer talking about white chicken chili and um, baked ham with pineapple, which is awesome. So curious, feel free to add it in. All right, we have all those ingredients. We have um, onions, garlic, and carrots. Now, we're going to add in all of our other stuff. We're gonna add in Brussels sprouts next. Yummy Brussels sprouts. Then we're gonna add in, now, broccoli, I like waiting till a little bit later, because all this other stuff can happen pretty quick. We're gonna add in our celery. At this point, I'm not really too concerned about the order overly, except I want my kale and parsley to go in last. That's dead last, so the leafy items go in last. So we have our peppers. It smells a little bit on the already. Our green beans. I'm gonna mix this up here real quick. Oh yeah, looks divine. Still no stock in there, right? We're still just cooking that down. Now we're gonna add in our zucchini. Our hard cream. Mmm, there we go. Katie, my lovely wife, says homemade pizza on Christmas Eve. Mmm. If you check out our live cooking show on YouTube and check out the homemade pizza recipe, delicious. That's what Katie's talking about. We make it every Christmas Eve with our family. It's awesome. So delicious. Now we have our cauliflower and broccoli. Now, this soup, you can make this as light as you want, or as thick and strong as, or heavy, I guess would be a word for it. Um, I really want mine to be packed with vegetables. The reason I, the reason I really kind of created this recipe, or looked for this one, I wanted to make it for all of you, is, to be honest, the fact that I'm trying to get my vegetables in a day, right? So I follow the fixate cooking plan from Autumn Calabrese and 21 Day Fix, all that stuff, right? So I follow how many containers of things I should eat. And I should have about six or seven um, vegetable servings a day. And that's a lot. And I get them in. Um, the best way I've found to get them in is by um, having a salad at lunchtime. I love salads, they're delicious, but they get old after some time, right? I get sick of having them. So I'm at this point now where I'm going, man, I'm just kind of sick of eating salads every day. And um, I want something else. So. This soup is the answer to that. So I'll be able to mix it up with soups and salads, and I'm gonna make like a vegetable stir fry thing um, for, for lunches to really help get my vegetables in that I need a day. So it's not gonna have a lot of broth in it. That's just for my personal taste. If you want more, add more broth. If you don't wanna make a homemade broth, you can buy it. But seriously folks, so simple. I don't know if I'm ever gonna buy a, a vegetable broth Again, unless I'm in a pinch and I need one in a hurry. So, Maria, um, you like all the desserts, but those clearly aren't healthy like a healthy vegetable garden in the pot. Um, it, well, Maria, you are right, but you know what? I love desserts, too. Who doesn't love the pumpkin pie? And, and we make cheesecake and, and all those oh, truffles, Oreo truffles. I need to find a way to make a healthy Oreo truffle. That would be incredible. But all those things are just incredible and fun and you know what you can make them healthy and you can treat yourself to the desserts as well uh, as long as you're putting in the work treat yourself right you don't go crazy but don't make yourself like be ashamed of it so here's what it looks like now let me turn off that light over the light so you can see really what it looks like so far still no broth right i'm just letting it cook up that's all it looks like mm -mm -mm. goodness oh yeah right there that might be the youtube cover what we'll see We'll see. I, I don't know what I'm feeling like today. I'm feeling a little crazy. All right, so we have this cooking and turn the light back on so I can see a little bit. Now I'm gonna add in our stock. How am I gonna do this? I don't know think this through. Hold on one second, let me grab a plate. So my biggest concern when prepping all this was, is it all gonna fit in the pot? And I'm like, yeah, of course it will, why not? And I, I got about halfway through making the stock. I'll be honest with you. I got halfway through making this and it had it about twice as much water, or again, as much water as already was in there, in the stock as it was cooking. So I doubled it in like the last 25 minutes, 30 minutes of it cooking. So I'm going, I don't want to have enough. Lo and behold, I probably don't have enough. Um, 
Okay, one some there, that one's some. I'm going to take a little bit of, of broth out here for later use. I'm hoping I won't need it. Not for today. Later use for the week. Because I just made this broth. Alright. So here's our delicious broth. It's still steaming as you can tell. I know that you can see any of it. I'm going to pour it in. And hopefully not spill it all over. Now, we'll have more. Because we got more vegetables going. This just covered it. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Let me move this out of the way. So I can reach my other vegetables. These vegetables are going in after the show's off. Let me show you what it looks like now with that broth in there. Oh yeah. So it's pretty um, soupy right now. It's, it has a lot of broth in it. And that is okay. You can add basil to this. You could add thyme to it as well. You want to taste. You want to see how it, it, it flavors. So once you get everything in here, you're going to want to let it cook down for about a half an hour. All right, so just about a half hour once you get everything in and you're letting it cook down um, and soak in all the flavors because if you have it straight, it's just going to taste like different vegetables with the broth, which is fine. But if you want a, a real good soup flavor, you want to let it cook for a half hour and at, at least at a nice, you know, low simmer so that it really just, the vegetables soak in the flavor and, and the broth soaks in the flavor from the vegetables. So we got it going back and forth. Now, if you saw me, I just took some ground pepper and put it in here um, just to help it give a little zing to it. We're going to turn this up because I want it to boil before I put it. I'm going to put our parsley first. That's going to be all right. We'll put the parsley in. And then we're going to put the kale in. Now, if you watched one of the other recipes I made called kale soup, uh, a recipe from my awesome friend and coworker Pamela Barnhill, um, she gave me a whole bunch of kale and I stuffed it in the pot thinking there's no way in heck this is going to work. It works. It, it shrinks up a little bit and it's just amazing. It's not leafy. It's not gross. It's not, you know, whatever tasting. It's amazing. So just a thought, just so you know, stuff to try it out. Um, you should make healthy desserts on a show. I should, Maria, and I have. Um, that's an awesome thing for you to say. Um, I've made a number of healthy desserts. Um, pumpkin pie, cheesecake, key lime pie, um, pecan pie, little snacks like bites and things like that I've made on the live cooking show. All you gotta do is check out my YouTube channel. Uh, so go to, jo go to YouTube, search Jones and Get Fit, and like live cooking show or something like that. Type that in. You'll find me. Find my playlist. I have playlists of all different recipes. We have desserts, we have breakfast, lunch, or like dinner, snacks, Super Bowl. Um, we got vegan, vegetarian recipes, beef recipes, chicken, all the better. It's like a, it's like a virtual uh, uh, cookbook, but live, uh, live cooking shows and set. All right, so live cooking show cookbook, kind of all on YouTube, at your fingertips. And some of them are like super. Uh, my goal is that they're all super easy. Um, some take a little bit more work than others. Others, not so much. Okay, so once this gets to a boil, it should be hopefully any second. It's starting. It's working. If I stare at it, it makes it go faster, right? So we'll just stare. Is that how it works? You stare and it goes faster? I don't think it's working. Okay, fine. We'll stop staring. I'll stir it up. Oh, my goodness. This looks amazing. All right. Close enough. I just can't wait. I'm too excited. Okay, we're going to add this crazy amount of kale. It's so much. Oh my god. What? I know. All right, look at that. It's crazy. It's taller. It's as tall as my head is. This is nuts. All right, we're going to add this in to our soup. I'm going to try not to spill all this kale all over my floor and stove because then it's going to burn. And that's no good. Burning kale is not good. So we're going to put my hand over it. Oh, it's about the size of the opening. Come on. There we go. One side. Oh, 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 little spillage. Oh. There we go. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you give a soup a nice little green top. Isn't it pretty? Here, I'll turn the light on so you can see it. Isn't it pretty? Oh, shucks. All right, so now we're going to be very careful and say, get down in there. Ah, ah, ah. And I'm going to try stirring it in. Oh, no, I fell. No, save me. Oh, saved it. 
I know I'm doing this with my right hand. There, if I go to this side of the camera, oh, there we go. Now I can use my right hand and you can see. I'm just stirring this sucker in. Again, I want this to be really thick as far as the vegetables go. Um, so I don't want a lot of broth in here, but if you wanted more, that's totally cool. I'm just trying to get all the kale down into the liquid. I don't mind if the other vegetables are out of it for a little bit here, because it'll melt. Oh, the melt, it'll shrink down and become part of it here in no time. So if you want, you can add a pinch of salt. I'm going to add a, a, just a little bit of it up right now. That is literally like the pinch I'm using. That's all the salt I'm using for this right now. As it's cooking down in about every 10 minutes or so, I'll stir it um, just to make sure nothing's sticking, everything's looking good, and I'll taste it. I'll give um, a couple vegetables a taste, the broth, and see, you know, hmm, maybe it needs a little bit of this, right? Maybe it needs more pepper, maybe it needs a little more salt, maybe it needs, um, I don't know, basil, right? Try different things. Experiment. You can't go wrong. And this soup is going to be amazing, it's going to be delicious. You're going to get your vegetables in, right? So you can count your vegetables in your day through the soup. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. And you're set to rock and roll. All right, there you go. This is your vegan and amazing, delicious vegetable soup, the Jones way. Um, so it's loaded. It's just loaded full of vegetables, as you know. And it all fit in the pot, Maria. How cool is that? It all fit. Yes. Score. Um, so we're going to cover it and let it simmer down and all that stuff. I'm going to cut the other veggies. And you know what's cool? If you wanted to add meat to this, you could, right? So I um, slow cooked uh, chicken breast when I was at work today. Put chicken breast in the slow, um, in the slow cooker with water, a couple little bit of seasonings, plugged it in low, and then I took it out when I got home, shredded it up. So I've shredded chicken to add to anything, right? For salads or whatever. Um, I could add some to here if I really wanted to make it a chicken vegetable soup. That's it. That's all I'm making. You can add potatoes to it. You can add red potatoes, right? Or any other potatoes if you want. You can make noodles and add noodles to it if you want. So um, I highly suggest whole wheat noodles, not any of the other crap. Um, enriched wh white wheat flour. Just skip that stuff, right? Just get the real wheat flour stuff. Um, if you want noodles or potatoes, things like that, feel free. Make it customizable. Make it to what fits you, fits your family, what your taste buds like. Well, this is it. I'm going to cover this up. Let her cook down. Let me show you one. I'll show you one last glimpse of the gloriousness here. Come on, follow me. Follow me over. Come on, come on, come on. You're welcome over here, my stove. You're always welcome over here. So you see the the kale on top. Oh yeah, check out that gloriousness. Lou, if you're watching, kale, buddy. Kale and vegan and amazing. I know it's a little hard to see the light, and it's always shaking. But that's what it looks like. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be delicious. And that is how you make a healthy, loaded vegetable soup. I'm Spencer Jones with Jones and Get Fit. I really appreciate you watching. Please like this video. Share it with your friends and your family. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, the more views and likes we get, the more people we can help. And uh, help people stay healthy and fit and be able to do the things they love. To chase their passions to the max. That's why I do this. So uh, thank you very much. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, all that awesome stuff. You guys rock. Thanks for tuning in for another week. I'll catch you next week. We got a special Christmas episode next week. You won't want to miss it. It's going to be glorious. Mm, yummy. All right. Have a great night, folks. Try this recipe out. Let me know what you think of our loaded vegetable soup. We'll catch you all later.